In tonight's Health Watch, we're talking about worker burnout, from how to manage it to how to prevent it. Joining us to discuss is Shannon Edlinger from management consulting company Robert Half. Shannon, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Great to see you. You as well. So burnout is something we talk about a lot. It's a buzzword. People have heard of this, but what are some of the signs of burnout? That's a great question. And it should be such a talked about topic in today's market. Some signs of burnout specific to workers are really heavy workloads. So it just causes stress. And what that does to a culture in the workplace that can really matter. So we want to put work burnout at the forefront of workers' minds and managers' minds and owners' minds. So Robert Half did a survey and we had workers rate their burnout from a scale of one to 10. And what we found is that one third of those workers are reporting their burnout level at a seven or higher. So we're seeing an increased level of burnout specific to today's market. Now, interestingly enough, there are three top factors that are associated with burnout per Robert Half's results, 56% of workers are reporting that their burnout is a cause of very heavy workloads, whether they've always had a heavy workload or maybe have had additional projects or assigned assignments put on their desk with heavy deadlines. And then split even coming in at 41% each, we have really poor communication and managerial support alongside of a poor culture and maybe that quote unquote toxic work environment. So Robert Half's survey found that burnout is top of mind and it's affecting more workers than we probably thought. Wow. Yeah. Daunting numbers there. So I guess I'd like to ask, is this a natural part of your work life? Is this something we're all bound to encounter at some point? Or is it just a sign that something is seriously wrong? I think that that's a great question. And there's really two sides to that. I think personally, pending every worker's individual workload combined with their home workload, maybe specific times of month, like for accounting, month end close is a huge time for accountants. So maybe specific time periods, it could be a personal burnout. Or if you're experiencing a really high turnover in an organization and you're having these exit interviews and you hear these buzzwords as a manager or an owner, I have a heavy workload. I don't have proper communication. I'm just really stressed out. I just really am overwhelmed. Those could be signs on the work management level that your employees are just burnt out and it's time to implement some, some new standards for well-being. Yeah, so we are starting to be short on time, but what do those standards look like? How can we fix this? What's the solution? That's a great question. So for workers and managers alike, well, number one, communication. If you are a worker and you feel burnt out, I have three steps for you. One, communicate that to your direct manager. The situation can't change unless the situation is brought to forefront. Robert Half survey shows that open communication is really key to making any momentum in any type of employment issue. Number two, maybe implement some self habits. I know one of my best candidates who's a CPA specific to the Metro Detroit area, he uses time blocking as a stress reliever when he's overwhelmed. He also implemented a few different types of time blocking methods through his digital calendar, loading everything, just making sure that he was streamlined <clears throat> and it helped him tremendously from feeling less overwhelmed. And if neither of those things are working, it is time as a worker to maybe weigh your pros and cons on whether you want to start a search for maybe a new position where you might not feel as overwhelmed. But let's just make sure we exhaust all of our tools and Robert Half can 100% help. We have numerous articles on our website. Follow us on LinkedIn. We have tips and tricks for workers and managerial staff alike to really ease that burnout, especially coming into the fun summer months. All right, so communication is key and streamline your time. Great tips. Shannon Edlinger from Robert Half, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great night. You too. And we're back after.